Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Chidori, which is a cutting edge reactive runtime designed specifically for constructing durable AI agents. Now, unlike traditional AI frameworks, Chidori actually focuses on building agents that are not only reactive, but also observable and highly robust. Now, this unique combination of features sets it apart from other frameworks and makes it attractive for different types of developers and research researchers who are trying to seek towards creating intelligent AI agents with advanced capabilities. Now, the runtime core is written in Rust, which is a programming language known for its high performance and safety. Now, this choice ensures that Chidori is efficient and reliable, allowing AI agents to handle complex tasks with ease. Now, Chidori offers seamless support for like popular programming languages like Python and Node.js, which enables developers to work familiar environments as well as leveraging their existing skills to build upon these powerful agents. Now, one of the most notable features that I want to talk about before we get onto this video with Chidori is its focus on building agents that actually work. Now, this emphasis is on like practicality as well as functionality, which is essential in the AI field and where real world applications demand these reliable and efficient solutions. So by prioritizing this aspect, you can actually utilize Chidori, which aims to provide developers with a tool set that enables them to build AI agents to deliver tangible results across various domains in which you can implement like a code interpreter. You can also have agents work as a calling system and there's many cool features that i'll talk about later on in the video as to how you can set this up as well as showcasing how this reactive runtime for these ai agents are set up so that they can basically do these practical like solutions for real-time tasks so this is something that we're going to take a look at in today's video uh, in today's video we're going to get more of a better understanding as to what chidori is so that we can actually implement it within our day-to-day -day lives I'm going to show you how you can get started by showcasing the installation process. We're also going to take a look at some of the features as well as the roadmap as to what they have planned for this amazing project. So guys, before we actually move on, I have an update with this channel and this is World of AI on Patreon. I actually created a Patreon page on which you can become a Patreon to support the channel and you can get amazing perks as I'm going to be trying my best so that you guys can become like more like i would say connected to the channel as i'm gonna give everyone who becomes a patreon access to a new discord which you can have developers researchers or users who just have a common interest in ai collaborating all within the same discord and which we can share like the same like quality information or help each other out so that we can grow all together in the AI world. And this is something that I plan and have a vision towards. So if you really are interested in that, uh, you can basically get access to the Discord community in which I'll also provide a lot of value. I'll make sure that I give you guys the best news. I'm gonna be providing you guys with assistance in terms of like installation, giving you guys the best tutorials, as well as doing some like things that I'm not going to be also doing on my YouTube channel. So if you're really interested in this, I highly recommend that you become a member so that you can basically get access to some of these cool features and you can check out some of these things. And I'm also planning a lot of amazing features that I haven't written down here yet. It's something in my mind and I'm planning and working with different people who are collaborating with me. So stay tuned i'm gonna be as this channel keeps growing there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna be helping me out to grow it and have different partnerships so that we can excel in the ai world so stay tuned and make sure i promise you guys it's gonna be a real good journey so if you are interested it's up to you and if you want to you can become a patreon now guys it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can go on to twitter make sure you give this a follow if you guys haven't already turn on the notification bell and i'm going to be posting the latest ai news over here so you can get like updated with the best news over here i don't follow wizard alum let me do that but if you guys haven't subscribed to the world of ai please do so guys it would mean the whole world to me and i would really really appreciate it now if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos i highly recommend that you do so because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you'll definitely benefit from so i highly recommend that you check this out subscribe turn the notification bell and with that thought let's get right into the video 
Now guys, before we get more in depth with Chidori, I want to talk one, I want to put emphasis on one thing and this is because Chidori is not ready for production use. So you might want to keep that in mind as it's currently in its early stages. So you won't be able to accomplish many of the things that are stated at this current moment, but obviously you can do the core functionalities to have it run and deploy your own AI agent. Now, Chidori was actually built upon the ground up with the primary goal of constructing agents that are capable of handling diverse AI tasks. Now, one of these dedicated focuses is that they can run, run like the, have the runtime that provides the necessary tools and libraries to support developers in crafting sophisticated and adaptable AI agents. Now, this is something that many developers have been doing with their own projects, such as like Super AGI, AutoGPT, and many others that have been trying to have these sophisticated AI agents deployed within your own local desktop. But with Chidori, it leverages a large language model as many of these agents do, and it minimizes the code as well as the costs that are used during the development process. And this caching strategy optimizes for the resources that are utilized, which makes it so much easier for developers to experiment various types of agents and configure them without incurring unnecessary expenses. Now, one comparing like compelling aspect of Chidori is its optimization for longing running like AI frame frameworks. And this is something that is quite beneficial for applications that require AI agents to operate continuously over extended periods. And this is by prioritizing efficient and as well as like different types of resource management so that Chidori can be well suited for applications that rely on reliable AI agents. Now, as we were watching this video at the start, one of the most standout features of Chidori is its embedded code interpreter which basically allows developers to modify the agent's behavior on the fly. So you can have a reactive agent that can be getting feedback from you on the fly as it's working on a task. So this feature basically enhances the agility as well as the adaptability of the AI agent so that it makes them more responsive and it gives them more of a dynamic to change environments and tasks. Now this ability is to alter the agent's behavior during the runtime significantly, which broadens the scope of the application and opens up new possibilities for AI researchers as well as deployers. Now guys, for all my Naruto fans, you might be wondering, I know where Chidori is from, and this is something that he had stated to the developer, and it says, Chidori is the name of the lightning blade technique used by Kakashi in Naruto anime series. It also happens to mean the thousand birds in Japanese. So I, I love it when developers do things like this because it gives you more insight as to what this actual application is about. And we can see the thousand birds is a reference to flocks of birds and the emergent behavior that arises from their interactions. We think this is a good metaphor for the behavior of long running agents, the internal units of large language model executions within them and the emergent behavior that arises from their interaction. This is quite beautiful and I love when developers do things like this because it gives you more insight as well as the passion for the actual project. And we can see they also emphasize why they actually use Rust as Rust is a great language for building systems. And he use, we like this type of system as it guarantees or, and the guarantees provided by it, sorry. And we also like the performance characteristics of Rust and the ability to build a single binary that can be deployed anywhere. The Rust ecosystem makes it fairly easy to provide bindings and other languages, which is important for us to provide a good developer experience. So this gives you a good feedback as to what they're trying to do. Now let's actually take a look at the roadmap because we can see they have a pretty good medium term roadmap as it focuses on adding a lot of cool features in terms of its short term. We can see that they're trying to have a simple vector database for like deployment, which is quite quite unique and you can see that they're trying to get like some sort of memory out of the AI agents so that they can have a reactive way of understanding what is happening from previous interactions to get a better smoother output of future interactions. They're also trying to add support for different types of nodes, allowing filtering nodes. And we can see in the medium term, this is where it gets juicy as they are trying to have an analysis tool for comparing executions, agent reevaluation with feedback. Uh, one thing I really love is how they're gonna add the vector database obviously, but the support for large language model sources. And one thing that is also amazing is that they're trying to add the support for more code interpreter environments so that you can have a real time code editor 
built inside this AI agent as it accomplishes many other things. So you can basically do a lot of the lot of different things with this reactive runtime AI agent as it's going to be utilized with ChatGPT's AI API key so that you can utilize it to understand and source through a huge database to accomplish many different tasks. Now, they also have a blog post as this documentation talks a little bit more about the agent system. Now, before we actually move on forward, I want to talk a little bit more about the reactive runtime as this is an important thing as well as a core functionality of this project. So as we talked about at the start, Chidori's fundamental feature is its reactive runtime. It serves as the backbone as it focuses on their interactions between various AI agents as well as its components. Now at its heart, these runtimes are basically described as the nodes, which play as a central role in shaping the behavior of the AI system by responding to specific changes that are prescribed or subscribed towards. Now this reactive basic feature allows for Chidori agents to exhibit dynamic and responsive behaviors making it adaptive and capable of handling real-time changes in the actual environment. Now these nodes in Chidori can be able to encompass a wide range of functionalities as well as components and they are basically designed to be flexible and versatile which enables them to include different elements in the AI system. For instance, nodes can basically consist for executing code, interactive prompts, for like different users, vector databases for like storing or retrieving information, as well as custom code for tailored functionalities, so that there is an inter like entire connectivity with the whole system. Now, the reactivity of the nodes is a crucial aspect of Chidori's capabilities, as by subscribing to specific system changes, the nodes can basically react promptly to various events, inputs, and triggers. And this is one of the main reasons why I prefer this AI agent, and I hope that this system can be implemented with a huge connectivity with other types of systems and so that it can be implemented in other workflows because of its runtime feature. I've never seen uh, another AI agent uh, like have such a good system set up for its runtime reactive building for durable AI agents because it, of its functionality as well as its core fundamentals. Now guys, I'm going to showcase how you can actually get started and install this. First things first, you're going to need to have, so you'll need get and this was something that I didn't have the links open, so sorry for that pause. But first things first, you're going to need Git, which is an application used to clone the repository onto your CPU. Secondly, you'll need Python as your editor for your code. And lastly, you'll need Visual Studio Code to input your open API key. Uh, you also need a building access to an API key, so make sure you have this set up so that you can utilize the API key. So once you have these four things set up, you can go back onto the thousand birds. Yeah, thousand birds. Sorry, I keep getting confused because it's called Chidori as well as thousand birds. But you can get back onto the Chidori GitHub repo. Copy this link. Scroll down a little bit. Now open up command prompt. Type in git clone and paste the link over here and click enter. Now this is going to take a couple seconds. And once that is done, you can then type in cd chidori and once you're in the chidori folder you can start installing the requirements now you can also use chidori with node.js or as well as rust so keep that in mind in my case i'm just going to use python but i'm going to paste this command and press enter and now it will take a couple seconds to install so once that is done we can then move forward and install the different environments that are required now guys, once you have it installed, you can then go on Visual Studio Code, open it up, then click on open folder. Once you have that open, find the folder that you just downloaded. Uh, in this case, we downloaded Chidori, so I gotta find it. Ah, this always takes a couple seconds from me. I'm super blind guys, I legit cannot see it. Right here, finally. And once you have that loaded up, you can now start installing the different environments that are required. So guys, to set your environment, what we will do now is create a new file. And once you have that, type in dot and so env, click enter. Now what you will do is copy this command right here. Make sure you take, get rid of the three dots, paste it, and go back onto your API key, formulate a new secret key that you'll be utilizing. 
my freaking computer is bugging but once it is figured out okay we got it okay copy this go back onto visual studio code press enter and once that is done get rid of the second line click save and i'll be right back now guys to set up the different types of clients for the associated like programs in this case i can't run anything because it's built for rust and i downloaded it, the rust version but uh in this case if you want to generate a python client you can just easily copy this code and paste it into your command prompt and you'll be able to initialize it so that you can start running your different things but in this case i'm just going to showcase an example as to how they ran an ai agent and this is quite cool as to what they've done as this example shows how they built a simple agent that fetches the top stories from hacker news and what it does is that it utilizes the open ai api filter to take out the ai related launches and then formats them into a database that breaks down the different markdowns and the results from the examples are then pushed into chidori's database which can be visualized for into like a prompt graph ui project and this is something that you can see over here you can input the stories key over here uh like the links are and from that you're able to generate the different things that are built upon to your local host which showcases the graph that it built with the different stories that are associated and this is something cool that they created and if you want to get a better idea of launching your own things install the environments which you can do so over here and once you're able to install the client as well as the tool chain you're going to be able to run and utilize this project and that's basically it for today's video guys i hope you got some sort of value as to what chidori is as the reactive runtime for building durable ai agents so guys thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it make sure if you are interested in becoming a patreon do so it's fairly easy and i'll leave the link in the description below as well as the other links that are utilized from this video in terms of the twitter page definitely give this a follow if you guys haven't already turn on the notification bell so you can stay up to date like this video subscribe and if you guys haven't seen my previous videos please do so because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you'll definitely benefit from so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spare positivity and i'll see you guys very shortly peace out fellas